Okay, this tutorial is going to cover mainly sections 7.4 to 7.6. I'm not going to split them up into single sections. It's because we kind of use the same concepts uh, throughout those sections. And we don't cover exactly what's in the book uh, word for word anyway. We kind of cover most of it and, and do a little bit extra in some places. So what we're looking at specifically is special triangles and ratios of exact values of 90 180, 270, 360 degree, the 90 degree points on the Cartesian plane. So just to recall um, some of the back background, that a basic triangle ratio for a special triangle of the 45, 45, 90 degree variety has a ratio of 1 to 1 to root 2, just as this diagram would be. And a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle has a 1, 2, root 3 type of a ratio, no matter what size that triangle is. So, for example, if this side here for the 30, 60, 90 degree triangle was 20, we know that this one would be 10, because the ratio has to be a 2 to 1 ratio. And also, if you look specifically at the points on the Cartesian plane where the axes meet, you can get your trig ratios by calculating at 90 degrees. If you remember that this is always 1, 0, this is 0, 1, obviously there's no x line. This is negative uh, 1, 0 because the x is that way, and this is negative 1, negative 1. And remembering that r is always 1, you could calculate the ratios for those 90, 180, 220, or sorry, 270, and 360 degree areas. Those are the facts that we need. And I'm going to break this tutorial into a few different type of examples, so there'll be a couple of, well, it won't be this tutorial, but there'll be a few tutorials in these areas using these basic facts that we'll be referring to. So first we're going to start with looking at the special uh, triangles. So obviously calculating from the special triangles is the first one. And here I have two triangles. One's a 45, 90, 45, and the other's a 60, uh, 30, and 90. So we have to remember the ratio. So what I tend to do is I tend to set up a ratio. Uh, your book doesn't always use ratios, but I like to set up a cross multiplication ratio when doing this. So if I remember the basic 45-45 setup, I'm going to draw a small one here. It's 1, 1, root 2. So if I want to calculate this way, I could say, well, looking in here, 1 is to 7. Going from the small triangle to the big triangle, that's the same as saying 1 is to 7. So I'm going 1 is to 7 is the same as 1 is to x. So we know that x is equal to 7. Let's do the ratio for the y now, which is here. So let's go root 2 is to, is to y. Okay, root 2 is to y is the same thing as 1 is to 7. So we have to do a little cross multiplication to get that one. So y is equal to, right, y times 1 is equal to root 2 times 7 or 7 root 2 if you like. So fairly simple to do that one. Okay, Let's take a look at the 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. So let's do a little drawing here of our basic ratio. 1 to 2, if this is our 90 here, to root 3. So we obviously can see that our ratio that we're going to start with is 2 to root 6. And then we're going to work around that. So 2 to root 6 is the same as saying, well, let's go for the y first. y is to root 3. y, so I'm going from the big, oops, I kind of did it backwards. I have to put not y there. Obviously, if I started over here with the 2, I have to go over here with the root 3 if I want to get the y. So the root 3 has to be on top. Root 3 is to y. Remember to keep your triangles ratios on the same level. I almost made that mistake there. So now if we work this out, cross multiply, 2y is equal to root 18. Okay, 6 times 3 under the root sign. So I can take that and go 2y is equal to, if I reduce this, 3 root 2. And that's because 9 times 2 under the root sign, so I can bring the the 9 bringing it out makes it a 3. Then divide by 2. So y then equals 
3 root 2 over 2. Let's do the same thing for the x point. Okay, so I'm going to start with 2 root 6 is equal to. So 2 was the small triangle I started with. So I got to go with the small triangle, which is 1. Okay, and then the bottom of the big triangle, which is x. So 2x equals root 6. So x is equal to root 6 over 2. Okay, and that's our special triangle type of ratios that we can have. And I'm going to circle those. And we can also have, there's the x one, there's the y one. We can also have, I got one more, I got enough time to do one more here. What if you have a funky one that has both triangles in them? Well, we want to find x, y. Now, if you maybe not clear, this is a 30 degree angle here, and this is a 45 degree angle, the whole thing. So there's the 45 angle. So what we want to do then is we obviously want to find this whole side, this whole side for the 45 triangle, and this small side for the 30 triangle and subtract them, subtract the whole to get the x value. So we can do y first. y is just a 30, 60 degree triangle. So if I draw a little reference triangle here on the bottom for the 30, well, let's make it a little bigger so you can see it. There's 30, there's 90. So it's lying over on the side. So the one is here, the two is here, and the root 3 is on the bottom here. Okay, so we're going to find y first because we can. So let's look at what 1 is to y. We're going to go small triangle to big triangle, small triangle to big triangle. So small triangle to big triangle. We have 3, root 3 is the given side here. So small triangle is root 3, big triangle is 20 centimeters. So we now know that y, root 3, is equal to 20. Divide by root 3, and y is equal to 20 over root 3. Can't leave it like that. We have to rationalize by multiplying by root 3 over root 3. So 20 root 3 over 3 is our um, value for our <clears throat> y point, or y value. So x then, let's find out what this whole side would be. Let's do the whole side. Let's call the whole side uh, A. So we know if we do a 45, let's do a little reference, 45, 45, 90 there. So this is 45, so drawing it, oops, I kind of drew it the other way. So let's draw it the same way that it's, it's here. So like this. Okay, this is our 45 here and a 45 there. That's our 90. So we know this is 1, 1, root 2. So this side is root 2. This whole side is 1. So it's 1. So we know that A is equal to 20 centimeters. It's because it's 1, 1. Okay, so what we have to do to calculate our value, and we probably aren't going to be able to use root form here, we have to go X is equal to 20 centimeters minus 20 root 3 over 3. Suppose we don't have, uh, basically, we can leave it like that or we want to reduce it, we can use a decimal number here in this case. It doesn't work out nicely, because I just, uh, so I'm just going to work it out. So 20 times root 3, so we'll go root 3 first, and multiply by 20, and divide by 3. I get 11.5, and I'll subtract 20, that from 20, to get a value of x is 8.5 to the nearest decimal centimeters. Sometimes you have to use decimals there in that case. So I have a few more that I would like to do, uh, and I'm going to do that in our next tutorial.